Hello, and welcome to this video where we'll be looking at how to use Colorama Browser for After Effects. So you likely already know the Colorama effect in After Effects. Basically, Colorama is an incredibly powerful effect for recoloring your footage. But it can also be pretty intimidating, and many users just end up sticking to a few of the built-in presets. Now, some of these built-in gradients are pretty nice, others not particularly useful, and there's not a very big selection of them. Editing them can be pretty fiddly and time-consuming. So let's check out how Colorama Browser transforms the Colorama experience. First, I'm going to open Colorama Browser from Window, Extensions. The panel is resizable, dockable, and scrollable. And you'll see we have all these curated categories of Colorama gradients, and the categories can be collapsed to save space. And we have these nice visual thumbnails so we can see what the gradients actually look like. There's over 350 presets to choose from. That's massive. Applying a preset to your layer is basically effortless. You just double-click the preset, or single-click, then click the Apply button. These two radio buttons at the bottom control what happens if you already have a Colorama effect on your layer. In most cases, you'll probably not want to add multiple Colorama effects, and personally, I usually leave it set to Apply to Existing. But if you do want to add two or more Colorama effects to the same layer, then switch it to this setting, Add New Unless Colorama is Selected. Now, it will add a new instance of Colorama to my layer, unless I specifically select the Colorama effect first that I want to apply the gradient to. I'll put it back to Apply to Existing for now. If you're applying a preset to an existing Colorama effect, it will only change the gradient or output cycle. So if you've adjusted other Colorama settings, such as changing the input, or changing what will be modified, or blending it with the original, all of that will be preserved. And as you can see, just the gradient has been changed. And if your output cycle has keyframes, then you'll get to keep them. And the new gradient will be applied to a new keyframe. Looking through all the gradients in the panel, you'll notice that some are ramps. In other words, they have a light to dark gradient. And there's this hard edge here between the darkest and the lightest values. And then there are some that are cycles with a continuous looping gradient that can be used for color cycling. So let's look a bit deeper at how you might use these two types of gradients. Looking at ramps first, let's take some footage. And this clip has really nice late afternoon golden light, so I want to keep some of that original coloring and try some different subtle looks. Let's try this palette called Mediterranean in the nature category. Now I'm going to play around with three parameters. Firstly, get phase from, which is set to intensity by default. And I'll try some different inputs. I think I'll use the red channel as it gives me brighter highlights. Now, I'll change what gets modified. Instead of all, I'm trying modifying just one or two outputs based on the color channels, or the hue, lightness, and saturation values. I'm liking RB, which means I'm modifying just the red and blue channels, but not the green channel. Lastly, I'm going to blend it back in with the original. About there looks nice. And then it's really easy to scroll through the Colorama browser presets and quickly try out different gradients, while preserving my other input and output settings. Of course, you don't have to go subtle, you can go really stylistic. These sort of gradients could work well in music videos or title sequences, or with overlaid graphics. So, I mentioned before that some of the gradients in Colorama Browser are cycles. A nice use for these cyclic gradients is to apply them to generators such as fractal noise or turbulent noise to create color cycling backgrounds and textures. 
The trick is to animate Colorama's phase shift. As well as the pre-made color cycles in Colorama Browser, you can easily edit any of the gradient ramps to make a cyclic gradient by just moving apart these two gradient stops at the top of the output cycle. I'll just increase the number of cycle repetitions too. And now here's what I get when I animate the phase shift. All right, that's it for this video. And I hope you like the creative possibilities of Colorama Browser. Don't forget to like and subscribe, then head over to AE Scripts and AE Plugins to grab your copy of Colorama Browser.